is ideal that you don't use it on your natural hair all the time but sometimes you just want to stretch out your hair instead of going to pay like 40 euros at the salon for it to get done this is what I use. Look at what it looks like. Look at the mouth of the air dryer. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I got my natural hair to be soft and fluffy and this fine and fresh. Keep on watching to see that. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantastic and as always, I'm super excited to be back to share another video with you. So as you can see, I have my natural hair out. I am loving it, I am rocking it, and I absolutely am enjoying the journey. So I just want to share quickly with you a few things I've done to get my hair in this kind of gorgeous, soft, easy to manage afro. <laughs> so the first thing I did was that I washed my hair with my moisturizing cream shampoo by Cantu. I, I think I've shared this with you before and the mistake I think I've been making all the while is I'm not getting the routine right. So I, managing my hair was very challenging. I, I basically almost cry when I comb my own hair. It's, it's not normal. It shouldn't be so. It's, it's a hair growing from my head like my husband would say. It shouldn't be this sad. So I've been doing some wrong things and I wanted to share the corrections with you. So first thing, I wash with my Cantu Shea Butter Moisturizing Cream Shampoo. It keeps the hair really soft and shiny. It does what it says. It's as simple as that. You know, when you kind of braid your hair or you do some uh, bantu knots or things like, it keeps your hair really soft and it stretches your hair. So when I wash my hair, it's actually shrinked. When I finish washing, I deep condition, all right, uh, with my uh, conditioner. I use the same conditioner to deep condition. I, leave, I left it there for a couple of hours. I actually wrap my hair in a soft plastic shower cap to kind of lock in all the moisture. So when I finished, I actually towel dried my hair. I pat it dry. You can see my hair is not so long. So when I finished doing that, I followed in with this leave-in conditioner cream. This one repairs breakage, leaves hair soft and manageable. Manageable is the word I was looking for. And it made my hair manageable for me. This one. I I'm doing a lot of it in my hair. As you can see, I'm using it a lot. So when I finished with that, I left it there, then I followed with my daily oil moisturizer. The daily oil moisturizer. It replenishes moisture, helps prevent breakage and tangle and freeze, softens strands, adds shine. So I realized that I've been using the wrong size of comb for my hair and that's why it's been hurting me so badly. When I comb it, I kind of struggle. So I bought two combs, one red one and one black one. The, the red one is what I start with, combing it from the top, okay? Then when it is smooth, easy to comb, I then use the black one for it to be really smooth and these are the two that I use. So far, I don't have any other comb that I use. These are the two that I use. So basically, I don't use all those small combs I've been using that kind of pulls and break, damage my hair. So I use this one, it's big enough, it's very easy to go through my hair. Okay, that is what I use. Then I use this one to kind of smoothen it out. All right. The other thing I also got, which I think I should share with you, is this one. Uh, this air dryer. Look at what it looks like. Look at the mouth of the air dryer. It has this large comb. My hairdresser actually got this one for me from England. She got it in London, precisely. And she's been using it for my hair for a while. It is ideal that you don't use it on your natural hair all the time, but sometimes you just want to stretch out your own hair. Instead of going to pay like 40 euros at the salon for it to get done, this is what I use, all right? I plug it in. It is 
so powerful and you can reduce the pressure I can increase the pressure to very high so it's so good so that is what I use to actually stretch my hair out today I wanted the front part of my hair to to be higher and the side to be uh, lower I wanted it to look like uh, what we call punk so this was what I used today because I wanted my hair to be smooth and fine for for the photo shoot that I had today so what is this one called it is a no name but she got it in London I will put the details down for you in the description box it is called Janu Janu uh, Pro Shot 3500 air dryer it's a, a two speed three temperature settings cool shot function straightening comb this was made in i don't know uh there's no place of manufacturing on it but i i bet it's from china or something like that all the details of this thing i will link for you in the description box in case you need it it's something i would highly recommend if you've been struggling with your natural air or you want to stretch it at some stage this is what I use. Look at how gigantic it is. This is different from my hair normal and dryer. This is the one I use. I just plug it. I use it to stretch my hair. But what I would say is never ever use it on your hair if there's no moisturizer in it. Deep condition your hair and make sure you lock in moisture onto it. Then you can use that to stretch it. That was exactly what I did. I didn't experience any shed, excessive shedding. It's almost impossible that natural hair won't shed. It's just a natural thing. <laughs> so I didn't experience any excessive kind of shedding or anything like that. So at some stage when I'm doing all this routine, I probably will share that with you. Don't forget, all the details of this will be linked for you in the description box below. All right? So that's it. That's how I've been managing my natural hair. And I've been enjoying it and rocking it. <laughs> And I've been loving it. So as always, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please feel free to share with your friends and family. It's all free. You can catch up with me on all my social media platforms. I'm on Facebook at Mojin Touch. I'm on Instagram at Mojin Touch. I'm also on Twitter at Mojin Touch. And if you want to see some of the photo shoots we did, go to the blog. It's at www.mojintouch.com. I would love to see you there. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I love you so very much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon on my next video. Go ahead.